So um, we're here this evening, Monday evening, with um, Stuart Baldley and Andy Crump, who have taken over the management reins of Felix Dunwarton as of today. And um, welcome back to Felix Dunwarton. Thank you. Um, you're both familiar with the club. Um, you've both got history with the club and history with other clubs, but I don't think it's probably the place to go into that here. A lot of people already know you and there's information on the website if anyone wants to find out about that. So let's look forward. Um, let's start looking forward in incremental steps. To, to begin with, right now, tonight, you're going to be meeting the players for the first time. Um, what are you going to be talking to them about? I think we're just going to outline, um, I guess, first of all, our expectations of, of them. Um, any questions they've got of us and any queries, you know, we've got an important game tomorrow night that I know probably will come on to, but it's it's more of a meet and greet and just to understand if they've got any issues, concerns, pick up with simple things like where players are in terms of their fitness, mm -hmm. injuries, availabilities, all those kinds of things that um, we kind of need to get a quick grasp of really. Mm, yeah. And obviously we've got a game tomorrow night at Bury um, in the Suffolk Premier Cup. What are the thoughts on that? We've looked at the, the squad that's been available and has been playing over the last last few games. Um, we're aware of a few knocks and niggles and, and unavailabilities for tomorrow, but I suppose we've looked at the squad that, that we need to put together to um, really set the journey that that me and Stuart are having a, a for itself on the on the right foot. Mm. Um, so we'll be treating it as as important as any other game um, that we could have started on from day one. And regardless of how much preparation we'll have, it's really important for us to get off on the right foot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Equally, we'll have um, some continuity in the dugout. So um, Gary Hammond and Stu Stevenson and Alex mm -hmm. Eggleton will be with us yeah. so that you know there's there's that continuity for the lads so it's not a completely fresh start with you know eyes closed for us at all so yeah yeah and for each of you um if i'm correct you've come in as manager and you come in as assistant manager right. what will your respective roles be he's the boss <laughs> <laughs> no i think um uh, personally i don't really see it like that quite so mm. much. Um, I think it's very much a team mm. team ethic and it won't be a case of well, well I'll make the decisions and, and that's how it is. Mm. Um, we speak a lot and I know our football and philosophies are very similar, um, hence why we're working together. Um, but you know, when I've worked with previous assistants in the past it is very been very much been a case of um, coming up with a collective decision on team selection, um, player recruitment, all of those kinds of things. So it's it's not really a kind of a boss and an assistant role in, in my opinion. Mm. It's it's more of a kind of a team that are gonna to work together to, to get things done. Yeah, yeah, okay. And maybe a tricky question, but um have you thought already about any short, medium and long term plans? Blimey. Um <laughs> short term is definitely sorry. Tomorrow night yeah. you know, and, and tonight really and making sure that actually with the players that we can start to kind of develop a trust in the relationship that mm. actually we're here to do the best for Philip Stone Watton Football Club yeah. Um, yeah. between us, um, medium term wise. I'd say it's... give us an identity yeah. is, is what we're after. We, we, we've got a certain way we want to play, a certain brand of football if you like that we want to try and impress upon the players. but. It's more a case of giving giving the players an identity, and and at the end of the day, start winning football matches. Yeah. And final question, because I'm not sure of the answer to this, which is obviously why I'm asking. <laughs> um, what teams do you support? That's a bad question. Do you, <laughs> you know what? I would have if you'd have asked me this twelve months ago, I'd have told you I was a, a Manchester United fan. Right. But if I'm absolutely honest. I've got to that point in my life where I don't feel that passionate about a professional football team right. anymore yeah. to say that I would... So I won't cop out on here. I don't have a bad day if Man United lose. United support. Jeez. Um, right. Oh. So yeah, you can 
rid me for that later, yeah, but um, yeah. at least I'm not sitting on the fence like Andy. <laughs> That's true. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks ever so much, and um, yeah, good luck. Thank you.